Welcome to Maze Engineers. Maze Basics, the Barnes Maze. The Barnes Maze consists of a large circular space with about 20 holes lining the perimeter and takes advantage of the natural desire of rodents to avoid open and exposed spaces. One of the holes has a box underneath it that mice can use to escape the maze, while others lead to an abyss. Mice are placed in the center of the maze and the searching begins. External and internal visual cues may be used to aid the mice. Errors are made when mice check out non-escape holes. Escape time is the time it takes to escape the maze. Mice can learn the location of the escape hole with two trials per day over two to three days. Training day one. Training day three. The mouse discovers the escape box quicker. Probe day five. Probe day 12. Even after a week, normal mice are pretty good at remembering the location of the escape hole. Normal learning can be seen in the quick reduction in errors and escape time. Note, these graphs are based on the previous animations. The times plus the number of errors are much lower than what occur in a real experiment. How is the Barnes maze useful when experimentally assessing impaired learning and memory? Researchers created mice with a conditionally knocked out protein, adenomatous polyposis coli, that is associated with autism spectrum disorders. By comparing behavior on the Barnes maze task between normal and knockout KO mice, they were able to show a specific pattern of deficits. Knockout mice learned more slowly and could not retain what they learned even at probe day five. By combining behavioral testing with measures of synaptic spine density or levels of long-term potentiation, the Barnes maze can be a powerful tool for studying the neural mechanisms of spatial learning and memory. MazeEngineers.com